day. And finally, this category. Accelerator. Science at almost the speed of light from the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center. What's she that? now glows in the dark, by the way. <laughs> Lisa. Uh, let's go with Accelerator for 2000. For 2000. <laughs> Daily Double. I have no idea, Dimitri, why you would uh, go to the $2,000 clue, the most difficult clue in that particular category. But your choice, your decision, you have 3000 If you make it a true daily double and respond correctly, you and Zach will be tied for the lead. Uh, I'll go 2500 2500 it is. All right, pay attention. Here's Jimmy with the clue. At one end of the accelerator, particles are fired out of a gun that uses this type of negative electrode, just like the ray on your TV set. What is cathode? Cathode is right. Well done. Way to go, Dimitri. Uh, accelerated 1600. It took six years to build the SLC, Stanford Linear This, to make particles smash into each other at high energy. The C stands for collider. Dimitri, back to you. Uh, accelerator for 1200. In the two-mile-long linear accelerator, an electromagnetic wave pushes these particles along, kind of like surfers. Dimitri. Uh, what are electrons? Electrons, yes. Accelerate for 800, please. This time, Cheryl has the clue. In the first of several Nobel Prizes won at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, the high rate of new particle production was traced to a new kind of particle, the charm type of this. Dimitri. What is a quark? Quark, correct. Accelerate for 400, please. Cheryl again. A detector identifies each particle produced in the accelerator, computing its charge, and this measurement that Einstein related to energy. Dimitri. What is mass? Mass. Well done in the category. You're in the lead as a result. 7,900. The Stanford Linear Accelerator Center has a two-fold mission. One is to help in the research of life science by taking pictures of biological and chemical processes at billions of frames per second. The other is the search for pure knowledge, smash particles into each other at high speed, and observe the building blocks of the universe that briefly appear.